Yeah, hello? Uh -huh. No. Yeah. Oh, really? Wow. No, come on. You can do more. It's like 10,000. Okay. No? Okay. Fine. We'll do it. What was that? That was direct tennis. So apparently, there's no one-handed backhands in the top 10 anymore. Well, that's because one-handed backhands suck. But also, Stefano seats of that sucks. Oh, yeah. It's pretty good looking, I guess. I guess, but like... Okay, so you know how, like, Stefano's just uses the blade 98? Yeah. I don't think that's the right racket for him. I think if he used a different racket, it would be better for his one-handed backhand. What do you think would be the best one-handed backhand racket? The one-handed backhand is the epitome of tennis. It's beautiful, graceful, powerful, versatile, delicate, finicky, and really, really challenging. It's a shot that we all love, and even us two-handers, we have a deep desire to hit it. So what's the best racket for one-handed backhand anyway? It's a question that I get asked a lot more than I thought when I started making videos. Basically, every racket review that I post, somebody asks me, how's that racket for the one-hander? Even though they see I use my left hand all the time on screen and off screen. So I thought I'd ask you, the viewers, what is the best racket for the one-handed backhand? Well, you all voted for pro staff, but reading the comments, not everyone agreed. Lots of people loved the Blade 98, the Vcore 95, the CX200 Tour, Various people said Prince, and even some weirdo commented PT161 and told me to search up Gas K. Well, I did look it up. It's the Liquid Metal Instinct Tour with an 18 by 19 pattern from the early 2000s. And the craziest thing about Gas K's racket is he's rocking like a 381 swing weight. So that got me thinking, what playing attributes are most important for the one-handed backhand? So again, I asked you, the viewers, and it seems like you guys want a perfect combination of great stability and great maneuverability. But reading more of your suggestions, I started to get a little bit confused. Some of you insisted you need a low twist weight, while others demanded a really high twist weight. Some of you need that 98 or smaller head size, while others seem perfectly happy with the 100. So let's look at the pros. Well, we've got Gasquet using that massive swing weight in a 100 square inch head. Then we've also got Wawrinka still using a massive swing weight, but with a smaller 95D. Tsitsipas uses a much more manageable spec at 343 swing weight in his pro stock blade. This is the same realm as Shapo, who we don't know his specs exactly with the SV95, but it's estimated that they're pretty close to his 6195 from back when he was with Wilson. Oh, sorry, I got a call. Hello? Oh, yeah? Oh, really? Okay, okay. What was that? It was direct tennis again. He keeps calling, but he says we need to switch to a one-handed backhand to properly test this equipment. Like, I think... Can you even hit a one-handed backhand? Can... Of course... I Can I hit a one-handed backhand? Have you met me? You can't hit a one-handed backhand. I'll own you. I come from squash. I only hit You can backhand. only hit slices. The only reason I hit a two-handed backhand is because you made me and told me it's the superior way to play Because you cannot keep it in the court. Hit a backhand. Viewers, viewers. Simon plays pickleball. As shameful as playing pickleball truly is, I do need to take a minute to talk about today's sponsor, and that's Direct Tennis. Direct Tennis is a one-of-a-kind app designed to link you with stringers in your area. And if you're a stringer, sign up and there's a good chance Direct Tennis can help you find new customers to get that money rolling in deep. Not only will Direct Tennis help you find a better customer experience, avoiding some of those kind of impersonal big box stores, connecting you with more sole proprietor stringers, but it also offers a wide variety of increased customer service tools and more integrated experience, whether it comes to buying or selling different items. 
Thanks so much to Direct Tennis for sponsoring today's video. Epic one-handed backhand montage on YouTube. Direct Tennis will be pleased. Most beautiful, amazing, winners. No, that's by two-handed backhand players. We don't want that. Direct Tennis has texted me. Mm -hmm. He says that Monkey Beckett has ignored my texts. And <laughs> I, I have to do that. <laughs> Makes sense. He's texting you like every 10 seconds. So uh, he says that we need to select what we think is the best one handed backhand racket mm -hmm. and play a game of fives. But for every one handed backhand winner or forced error that we hit, we get two points. Oh, okay. So should we go? Well, what's the best bracket? <laughs> so after some deliberation, we both realized that the Warinka Wacket is the best one-handed backhand racket. So as you can see, I have a lot of rackets. There are a lot of things I could have chosen. First, since maneuverability and control is obviously so important to you one-handed backhands, I thought the functional tennis safe. I mean, he is the only Swiss player who's won a major in the modern era not named Roger Federer. The other choice I had was this Prestige MP flex point, because if you didn't know, both Stan and Tim used a Prestige MP before So instead, I've picked Chapo's SB95. Uh, first of all, I think it's a really good looking racket, and that's important when you're using an aesthetically, but not technically better shot. This is the ENCODE 6195. Uh, secondly, I think just the spirit of the mindlessness of Chapo is going to really be important for me, not overthinking the shot, and really just ripping the ball on the backhand side. Dunlop, pro stuff. No matter where I am in the court, no matter how bad my footwork is, and uh, it might even help my vertical, so. This actual racket that says Tommy Rebredo. I think because I picked this, Beckett honestly doesn't stand a chance. I don't think he stands a chance anyways. Inch extra long, but. <sighs> I'm just not inspired by Tommy Rebredo the same way I'm inspired by Stan the Man. But there's a Stan the Man that I knew long before I ever heard of Stan Wawinka. And that's my dad, Stan Chomp. I think um, he's going to be in for a long match here and I can't wait to win. This was the last racket that he played competitive tennis with. He has a one-handed backhand. He helped me develop my game. So I thought, if I'm going to beat Simon with a one-handed backhand, it should be using the power of family.
what did we learn today? Well, 